Hey everybody, Zen Rider here. Have you ever wanted to go up to the top of Mount Woodson and take a picture on that famous selfie spot at Potato Chip Rock? Well, that's what exactly what we're going to do for today, so join me on the ride as we go up Mount Woodson. Also on the ride is Flyboy on his King Song 14D and Modi who's on a Gotway MCM5. It's not very often you see a car coming down this road, but there's one right there. That was a little bit unusual. We came up early because we knew there'd be a lot of hikers up on the trail. So we met at 6.45. It's probably about 7 o'clock right now as we're heading up uh, to the summit. It's going to be a hot one today, but that's why we left early. Plan to beat the heat. As we cruise on up. It's pretty fast. We really got to the top in probably 10 to 15 minutes on the way up. These hikers, on the other hand, probably taking half hour to an hour just to get up there and then they've got to come back down after waiting in line uh, for taking pictures. There's a little bit of shade here and there so when we stop you can get some shade but a lot of it is pretty exposed and um, you're out in the sun. These giant boulders people like to come up and to test out their climbing skills on some bouldering. It's kind of uh, neat. And then there's a, several spots like this one, for example, where you can uh, stop at the side as people take a water break and look around the scenery. Just great vistas and a beautiful view looking out over Ramona, in this case uh, looking east. We tried to keep moving, uh, taking some uh, stops and rest occasionally, check battery and other things, but for the most part, we stayed moving, heading up towards the top so that we could get up there pretty quickly. Modi's wheel, which is an MCM5, is one of the torquiest wheels available as a 14 inch. But we found out after it came that it only has a 340 watt hour battery, which is not a lot of battery. And so, uh, being one of those early wheels, so he and Flyboy switched wheels uh, so that we could have a better chance of making it all the way up. As it was, it was kind of barely made it up there and had some beeping uh, because that's not a lot of uh, battery capacity for that size wheel. Right here we have a first encounter with this black dog who really does not like any type of uh, electric unicycles apparently. And then coming down to Potato Chip Rock on this side, there's a real kind of tricky part right there. We decided we each wanted to get up on the rock itself with our wheels. It was a little bit of a chore getting up there, but check this out, looking underside the Potato Chip Rock. That thing really is slim out there. I moved the camera down over the edge to give you that view. Uh, and here's the still shot Modi took uh, with his camera. He had somebody else take for us, obviously. It's a fun, uh, fun shot, and this gives you some scenery looking down and around. So we uh, posed for a picture there. And um, in this next shot here, Adams uh, used his to, uh, stick to take a picture over the edge. Also, hopefully we'll be seeing some footage for him. But definitely fun getting our 
pictures up there on top of Ted Shiprock. We also thought we'd take a detour up more towards the top of the mountain, which this is kind of uh, Mount Woodson overlook. And uh, if you notice, if you're really into pristine nature, then uh, Mount Woodson isn't really the peak for you as there's so many radio towers and things up here, it's kind of crazy. But uh, we decided to get a shot right there too. Looking out, we could see all the way to the ocean. Yeah, it was a beautiful morning, that's for sure. I sure enjoyed that. And uh, from here, we started heading down. Of course, a lot of people uh, felt like we were cheating by using the electric unicycles and uh, made no bones about telling us such, but most of it was a good humor and a lot of them were, uh, man, I need one of those. So, uh, for the most part, uh, it was a lot of fun just kind of cruising down through the crowds. As I was coming up here, I failed to see the dog again to the last second. Almost took me out. The owner yelling at me for not giving them notice. Crazy. Going down is pretty easy and uneventful and lets you relax a little more. You don't have to be putting the strain on your calves and uh, pushing the wheel forward. So you're able to kind of relax and just uh, move through the curves. There's a few parts where it's a, a bit steep going down that you need to be cautious, but mostly it's, it's just a nice ride down. These are some of these huge boulders that people like to hike up here and go climbing on and bring pads and their equipment and just they spend the day up here just climbing around on these little side paths up on these boulders but they really like to come up here. These guys seem to like our wheels. We're interested in having some. And these kids made some comments about it. Another set of dogs, but these were fairly mellow dogs and tired going uphill, so they didn't uh, give us any problems. I was just kidding by telling him the peak was just around the next corner. The flyboy mentioned to me he thought they were pretty serious. And uh, I thought it was kind of funny because they definitely were only about a, maybe a quarter of the way up. This is definitely a great way to spend the morning just out cruising and seeing some great scenery. Glad to uh, hang out with these guys. My poor camera here just kept getting hit. Flap. Oh, I, I don't think it got damaged, but I need to take a look at that. So, but uh, I was definitely having a hard time uh, keeping the camera on that longer stick. Oh man! And I just kept 
kept on hitting these little tricky ride along this water. You get a little nervous if you got your wheel by water. All it takes is to tip the mat over and it's going to go in. Anyway, a uh, great ride with these guys. They took off as they parked across the street and I parked up the road here on 67. You do have to watch it and be careful. Um, a lot of traffic doing 70 going by here. There's a lot of parking. But anyway, overall, great ride today. Appreciate everybody. And uh, that about wraps it up for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so you'll get notified on my next ride coming up.